Dodgers can score at least five runs today. They'll become the first National League team to ever put up five plus in 11 straight games to open up a season. So Jordan Wicks on the hill goes 6 3 2 20 the 24 year old Cubs are 7 and 1 when he takes the ball in the big leagues. Mookie Betts leading the majors in on base and slugging and of course you put them together leading the majors in OPS as well. That's a leadoff walk for Mookie Betts. Otani who homered yesterday. He's homered in two straight games. A lot of Dodger fans here. On this one two from Wicks. Bangs a line drive base hit to right center field. Sounds like a shotgun going off anytime this guy hits it. Two on nobody out and Freddie Freeman at the plate. In the air left field where Hap waits for it and Ian pulls it down one away. Teosca Hernandez, who is the major league leader in RBIs right now with 14. Swing and a miss, and he got him. Big strikeout, and there's two away. He said a tough day yesterday. 0 for 5 with three strikeouts. And a 1 2 to Muncie. Got him swinging. Good job, Jordan Wicks. The first two reach, and he goes fly out, strike out, strike out. Yoshinobu Yamamoto made his debut in Korea and only went one inning, gave up five runs, and it was like, oh boy. But then his second start showed off the promise that led him to giving him the deal they gave him. Goes to work against Ian Happ. That scorched center field going back and back some more as Hernandez can't make the play. Happ will cruise into second. And he laces a double, 107.3. Four players from Japan in this series, Yamamoto and Suzuki, obviously. The two of them actually played together in the 2020 Olympics representing Team Japan in which they won gold. And that's off the outside edge, and Suzuki, after being down 0-2, works a walk. And here's Cody Bellinger. On the ground, softly hit. Charging is the shortstop Rojas and safe at second. I think that was Rojas' best chance at an out, but say a beat him. As Yoshinobu Yamamoto try and keep this from spiraling into a repeat of Korea. Sticks with the curve and strikes him out if it ain't broke. And he got him on three pitches. Speaking of six game hitting streaks, that's what Dansby Swanson is on. A fastball strike three. Three consecutive heaters from Yamamoto. That's just a nasty pitch. Two down, Michael Bush the batter. Well, this means something huge for the confidence of Yamamoto if he can get out of it. He struck him out as a curve falls over the corner. Yoshinobu Yamamoto on the brink of first inning disaster. Two men on, one away, no score, second inning, and the batter is Austin Barnes. Swing and a miss, struck him out. And there's two away. Here's Mookie Betts, two on and two out, no score. Rip towards right center, Suzuki on the move, and Seiya grabs it out of the air. Well done. And goes into second, he's got a double. Second walk today for Yamamoto. Two on, two out for Suzuki here. Walked his first time against him and rolls over right away. Muncy juggles, recovers, and won't pull the trigger. It's a two out air on Max Muncy. For the second consecutive inning, the Cubs have the bases loaded. Another 0 2 pitch. And a curveball to get him out of the jam again. Yamamoto has been able to wriggle off the hook two straight innings. Yoshinobu Yamamoto back out there. And he got him this time. He has exceeded his strikeout total from last game. New career high, six of them over two and a third. Bush on the ground to second. There's Mookie Betts. There's a one, two, three inning. Sigh of relief from Yamamoto to have an inning where he just kind of cruises through it. Once he struck out his first time, rookie lefty here in Jordan Wicks, who brings a 2 0. Muncie pulls it down the line. That's a fair ball. And Muncie has a leadoff double and a hit against a southpaw. Hernandez advances Muncie, and the go ahead run is 90 feet away. And he went too far, struck him out, and there's two away. And there, got him looking, and Wicks yes. is fired up. Man aboard for Otani. Otani with a jam shot base hit into left field. It's one of the rare ones that he just kind of fights off. They'll count the same. And there again, mounting something against Wicks. It's Freddie Freeman, 370 with runners in scoring position last year. Swing and a miss. He struck him out. Wow. I mean, a huge strikeout. And that will be the end of the day. 100 pitches 
of shutout baseball for Wick. Two on and two out in a scoreless game in the fifth, and Jose Quas comes in. It's a four-pitch walk to load the bases for Muncie. As it loads up the bases for the Dodgers with two down, Max Muncie coming to the plate. Wow, it's a wild pitch. Here comes Barnes, and the Dodgers crack through. It takes a wild pitch to finally get him on the board. Unloads to deep right field. Suzuki turns and watches it hit off the wall. Muncie throws on the brakes with a long single. It knocks in two. And the dam does break. Dodgers have a three to nothing lead. Yoshinobu Yamamoto survived those early innings. And here he is pitching with the lead. Here's his 2 2. Over the plate with a splitter. Fly to left center field. Taylor's there for the first out. 2-2 to Suzuki. Strikes him out with the fastball. Into the shadows. Eighth strikeout of the game. It's a wind of the pitch to Cody Bellinger. First ball swinging. Pops it up to left. Chris Taylor working from the sunshine into the shadows. Makes the catch. And it's a 1-2-3 bottom of the fifth for Yoshinobu Yamamoto. Yoshinobu Yamamoto leaves the pitcher of record on the plus side. New pitcher on for the Dodgers. It is Ryan Brazier. Now the 0-2 to Horner. Strike three call gives up the leadoff single then Brazier comes back to strike out three on a three one from little Otani takes ball four he's got a leadoff walk Freeman's over three on the ground that's the third manager goal tosses to Swanson that's a nice turn five six three not easy and it started with a very good play by Nick Madrigal. Good pitch, got him looking, and Little gets Hernandez and gets out of it. Up comes Taylor. Well, they're the third and Master Boney. Pinch hit for Madrigal earlier, and the new defender has the throw get by him. They're going to say that the throw got out of play, and so Taylor's going to get second base. Maybe some insurance to be cashed in on here. Miguel Rojas coming up. And the right center field towards the gap. It's down, and they get the insurance. All right, the sun helps the Dodgers out there. And this Cubs defense, which was a big part of the story of their win yesterday, opens the door for a fourth run for the Dodgers today. That's aboard with the walk. Leadoff man is on, and now it is Otani. Swing and a miss, and Otani is gone. Lighter gets him. One out, Freddie Freeman up. Outside corner, Freeman doesn't like it. 0 for 5 for Freeman today. Lighter and a 2 2. Cut on and missed. Got him. Five plus runs. That looks like it's going to end right here if Evan Phillips does his job. Dansby Swanson first up. Flared out into right center and in front of Outman. And a base hit for Dansby. Brings up Bush. Line drive. Fair ball down the right field line. Smuts it around second. Dansby will stop at third. And two are in scoring position. Third baseman, Nick Astroboni, now will come up with two men in scoring position. Phillips. And that one collected by Betts. It'll score a run. Mastroboni is out. The Cubs down to their final out. And that's ball four. And Hap comes up representing the tying run. Two on, two out in the ninth, and a 2 2 pitch. Got him to chase that breaking ball down and in. Barnes tags him, and the game is over. Dodgers tie this series at a game apiece. They are 8 and 3 on the season. Yoshinobu Yamamoto gets his very first major league win.